Okay, so today I'm going to talk to the graduates that just finished school and have actually returned back home. Yes, I'm one of them. I finished school last year, October. Was it October or November? Whichever the time was, and I got back. And I was home in November. Yeah, I remember it was in November 20th or 21st, one of the two days. And that's when I decided, even coming back, that I actually want to live at home for the duration of my articles, which should be two years. And it's been 10 months. 10 or 11 months now of being at home and I'm just gonna tell you the do's and don'ts for if you want to move back home if you want to to move back home after having left home for about five six years in varsity and then now you are back home for whatever reason let me tell you what not to do <laughs> thing written down so I'll probably be rambling throughout the session Sorry in advance. <laughs> what am I saying? Sorry in advance. Yeah. Whichever the word is, my vocabulary is horrible to think that I was an English major. Anyways, yeah. So, first things first, this is not your house. It's not your house, so you do not make the rules. If there's a rule, of say for example you have to be home at six if that's the standard rule that you follow when you're visiting you don't have to follow that standard rule when you live at home forever we don't have rules like that in our house thank god if there are rules like that like you have to be at home at a certain time you can't bring friends over you have to follow those rules in order to live in harmony like yeah and then the second thing that you need to do if you have your own room try and make it personal try and make it be a place that you want to to come back to remember at res when you had a room that you had those pink puff cushions and everything that you loved try and create that at your at your home as well at your bedroom back home uh, if it was still designed for your childhood, whatever the case might be, try and redesign it to be something that you want to to be in every day because you're going to most likely, especially if you're an introvert like me, you're going to most likely spend your time in your room, on your phone, but in bed. So try and get yourself a room that's comfortable what do i mean by that get yourself a new bed if you can afford to get yourself a nice clo clean closet make it clean and in harmony and to reflect you like if you're not somebody who's squeaky neat like me i'm not that person but my space is comfortable for me it's somewhere that i want to be every time after work and I spend most of my time like I get here at five or six and by seven I'm in my room until the next morning that's just how I do things and if it's something that I don't enjoy being in home would be miserable and respect people's boundaries if you are lucky to have a big family I don't which is very nice <laughs> very very nice I must say we have I have just a how old is my sister seven or eight uh, who lives at home and then my older sister still lives in Durban she works there so she only comes back home for she just comes back home for one weekend so her space is her space like even though she's not at home for probably 29 days, 28 to 29 days a month, I never go and invade her space. Like, it's her space. So, we respect each other's spaces. My room, if I'm not around, nobody's gonna come into my room and do whatever. Even my mom. The only thing she'll come and do is take my laundry. 
if she's doing laundry or whatever the case might be if there's something that I need to be done that's just when we are in each other's spaces I hope everyone gets that lucky to have that kind of space and then this is number three four whichever that we're not counting the next thing you need to do is to help around the house be it cooking unless you're a horrible cook and everyone hates your cooking but if you are a bad cook try and be a better cook so that you are in harmony with everyone that you are helpful like you can't just be at home and be somebody who's just eating like come on now <laughs> we're not your maids <laughs> We're not your cooks. You are not in a house with a paid chef or in a hotel. So try and help. Be it cooking, cleaning. It's a no-brainer. We we helping each other. We live together, so we have to help each other. As you would acting like Kumakoti with a, when you living with a guy. Because I know you. I know you don't want to do work at home, but you are Omakoti oh fan. So do that. Be helpful around the house. Respect. Respect like shared spaces. As you would in a in a res. Like kitchens were always clean in female blocks. And male blocks, which were used by males who lived in that res, were clean. But when the girlfriends come. Anyways, that's a different story. But like, make sure that the next person who's going to be coming in, be it a bathroom, whatever it is, is clean and pleasant to be used by the next person. You And then being mindful of people's emotions. Say, for example, somebody decided to be in a room without your consent or whatever. Don't be a bitch about it. Oh, okay. YouTube is very sensitive to yeah don't be that don't be that <laughs> don't be that girl that you like oh my god she's back home don't do that it's not nice it's not nice living with people that don't want to live with you like and then what's nice about living at home is that you are saving a lot of money you're not paying rent unless obviously you are you, your family lives in a flat and you want to contribute to the flat or the bond whichever the case might be you're not spending that money so that's good for you and good for everyone so good for your pocket i had to move back home because i knew articles don't pay that much and it would have been such a strain to be living in a flat and i'll, I'll probably have been miserable if i was living in a flat having to pay for rent buy my own groceries, all of that. So it was a good economic move. That's why I moved back home. Besides the fact that my boyfriend is closer. That's another story. But it, it, it was a good move in terms of the economy and saving. So that was a wise move. Though when we first started with mental health, even now, sometimes it's just like, I really want my space so I want to move out of here you get those days everywhere even when you're living alone I'll get the I want to be home and just leave not come back for a weekend or whatever when we were at rest so you get that at home as well like I need to be out of here so you have to be willing to sacrifice one or the other I saw a meme that says you have your rent is due mine is not due I'm paying for living for free with my mental capacity or my, my, my mental state every day. That's exactly what happens. Your ma you might use your mind living at home because parents can sometimes be a pain. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, but you're not paying rent. You have people that you see every day that actually love you. So think about it. <laughs> that. But during this time, during a time when you are still at home, where you are living in, in a shared space with be it your parents your whoever make it make it meaningful make it last make it be something that you say okay 
I'm okay. Like I'm learning each day to be okay with the space or the the time or the current things that are happening in my life. Like be okay, be present. Like it's good I have a bed that I I get to sleep in. I have a room that's my room. If I'm living in a flat one of those flats in Durban where you actually even share a bed with somebody you don't know that would have been the a different space maybe I would not even be comfortable so make each te- each 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 day last make it okay to be at home next time I'm writing things down okay <laughs> I'm horrible at this okay the next thing that you need to do is to be kind as i said like don't be that that girl be kind if you don't speak to people in the house like i know people who live together as a family and don't speak to each other how then are you are you benefiting from being at home yes some days are bad some days are, are good but be kind to people like I, I take this as practice for a time when I have my own family. When some days you they annoy you and you don't want to be with them, but you are with them because they're family. <laughs> so be kind and contribute. Say, for example, you, you don't get much. Like people who live at home, people that I know that usually graduate I'm, I'm speaking to like we said graduates who are at home would most likely just be at home because they can't afford to live alone so maybe you can afford to buy to pay for electricity you can afford to pay for water you can afford to not just pay for it because I do not I, I contribute to to the electricity in the house and Yes, you pay for electricity. I contribute to to the electricity in the house and and groceries, and then I buy things that I eat for my own diet. Like I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to buy my own milk. I don't have to change everyone's diet in the house. I'm the only one who drinks coffee, so things like that. I don't have to bother mom to be getting me specific things for my specific diet because. Remember to be useful in the house. Help with cleaning, help with everything. Contribute to what you can contribute. Be you contributing your time. Maybe you have a, a little sister and you guys are paying for a nanny. Have days where you're saying like, let's have the nanny have a day off and I'll take care of the child for the whole day. Be that person. Uh, what else can you do? Help with going to pay for the bills going to run errands for your parents if you are not as busy and then you're like okay i can do this for you because i'm not busy be that person oh uh, what else can you do contribute whatever that you can contribute financially and do not be picky like i don't eat this i don't like that this is not how i lived if you are a picky person be a picky person that can afford to buy those things. Go and buy them and bring them home and be like, yes, I bought this because I do not like that. Okay. And finally, remember to subscribe to my channel. I work out. <laughs> That's what I do. I work out and I talk. <laughs>